Okay, we're going to have a look at quadrilaterals today um, and quickly summarize their properties with regard to angles and sides. So let's start with the general idea of a quadrilateral. Quad in the quadrilateral, quad indicates four. So quadrilateral is a closed figure, in other words, no gaps, that has four sides. So that's a quadrilateral. Now there's some special types of quadrilaterals that we like to study. So let's look at some of those. A trapezium is a quadrilateral which has only one pair of opposite sides parallel. I'm just going to indicate the parallel lines like that with the arrows. So this is a trapezium. It has one pair of opposite sides parallel. Now actually trapeziums are a bit um, horrible because in fact in America they call them trapezoids and some people have slightly different definitions of them. We're not going to get ourselves overly fussed about it. We're going to use the idea that a trapezium is a quadrilateral with only one pair of opposite sides parallel. And actually because of this we can't in fact it doesn't have any special properties of equal sides or equal angles or anything like that. The only thing we can do with a trapezium is because the opposite sides are parallel, we can use all our parallel, I mean, our parallel theorems, you know, alternate angles and um, co-interior angles, etc., to maybe help us a little bit when we're working with tra trapeziums. But they don't have special properties. Okay, so that's your trapezium. Now let's just get very clear. Opposite sides, right, because we're now going to go on to the kite where we talk about adjacent sides. So let's just get the clear idea of what's an opposite side versus what's an adjacent side. Adjacent sides, adjacent in English means that if, if two things are adjacent, it means they are next to each other. So the same idea holds with when we talk about adjacent sides, they're sides that are next to each other and we can identify them easily right they're next to each other and they join at a particular point or to use the fancy word vertex right so there and there you've got a pair of adjacent sides because they join together at that point here and here those are adjacent sides because they join together at that point if we go back to our trapezium that and that would be adjacent sides because they join together at that point Opposite sides, on the other hand, are the ones that aren't adjacent, right? They're in, they don't join at a point. They're kind of facing each other. So there's your opposite, a pair of opposite sides. Here and here are a pair of opposite sides. Uh, here and here are a pair of opposite sides. And here and here are a pair of opposite sides. Okay. Um, and the same will hold for angles. When we talk about opposite angles, right, they are kind of facing each other corner to corner so those are opposite those are opposite those are opposite right there and there are opposite right okay we got the terminology straight now let's go back to looking at our quadrilateral so we've dealt with a trapezium let's deal with a kite so a kite is a quadrilateral which has got two pairs of adjacent sides equal in other words there's one pair of adjacent sides that are equal to each other. And here's another pair of adjacent sides that are equal to each other. And because of those equal sides like that, it ends up having equal angles here. Just this pair of angles are equal. So it's the angle that is between this side and this side, the unequal sides that are equal to each other. Right. So it's this one and this one that are equal. We can't say anything about this angle and this angle. They don't have to be equal. It's these ones that we know are equal. All right. So those are two types, the trapezium, the kite. Now we get on to the really interesting ones. Um, these are all the parallelograms. So all of these things here are parallelograms. And parallelograms have got two pairs of parallel sides. So it's basically got those are parallel, that's the one pair, opposites, and these opposite sides are also parallel. Here, parallel, and these ones are parallel. There's a pair, there's another pair of parallel. There's a pair, and there's another pair of parallel. So all of these here are parallel parallelograms, all of them are, all you have to do to be a parallelogram is have two pairs of opposite sides parallel. Okay, 
So here's the most general type of parallelogram. Just has two pairs of opposite sides parallel. Because of that, it ends up having that the, this pair of opposite sides are equal to each other and this pair of opposite sides are equal to each other. And also these angles, opposite angles are equal and these opposite angles are equal. Now we can go for a slightly more specialized parallelogram. Um, so again, got to have both pairs of opposite sides parallel. But in this case, when we turn it into a rhombus, what we're going to do is take that parallelogram and make all four sides equal. It'll still have that same property that the parallelogram had, that you've got the opposite angles are equal to each other. But now it will also have that all four sides are equal. So a rhombus is a special kind of parallelogram that has all four sides equal. We could also specialize the parallelogram in a different way. And again, all we would do here is make this angle equal to 90. And if we do that, we end up having a rectangle. So a rectangle is a special kind of parallelogram that has all four angles equal to 90 degrees. It still has the same property as a parallelogram that the pairs of opposite sides are equal. So this side equals this side, and that side equals that side. But the special thing about the rectangle is that all the angles are 90. And then our most special quadrilateral of all is the square. Because the square, you can think of, it's a special parallelogram, and in fact it's even a special rectangle, because it's a rectangle where all four sides are equal. So what it has is all four sides are equal and all four angles are 90. You can also think of a square as a special kind of rhombus, because basically it's like a rhombus in that all four sides are equal, except now you've made the angles equal to 90 degrees. So the rectangle is the most special parallelogram of all, having all four sides equal and all four angles equal to 90. Okay, so then if I'm given a problem like this and I'm asked to fill in all the missing sides and angles, I first need to identify what kind of quad I'm dealing with and I can see immediately here because I've got two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of opposite sides parallel, I know I'm just dealing with a parallelogram. And so I know with a parallelogram the opposite sides are equal, so if this is 3, then this is 3, that's 5, then this is 5. Also no property of parallelogram, opposite angles are equal, so if that's 40, then this over here is 40. Then I can use my knowledge of parallel lines to be able to work out this angle because here's a parallel line here's a parallel line and there's that transversal cutting it can you see what we're dealing with is a situation of co-interior angles and we know that co-interior angles add up to 180 so this thing here must be 140 because 140 plus 40 gives you 180 and then properties of parallelogram opposite angles are equal, so if this is 140, then this will also be 140.